Hey guys, Alex Pishkar here with Siren Marine and another episode of Siren U. Today we're going to be explaining the wireless sensor pairing process to your MTC, either an existing installation or a new installation. This is all app-based stuff. So we have our wireless sensors here. I have my phone with my Siren Marine app on open and I'm going to walk you through how we pair the wireless sensors. So when you first open your wireless sensor box, obviously you're going to see the wireless sensor module. Uh, from there you will see the wireless sensor guide. Uh, this explains the process of pairing it with the with your MTC installation via the Siren Marine app. And then you'll either see a white box that includes the Siren Marine sensor tail. Uh, the, all wireless sensor modules do come with a wireless sensor tail except the entry sensor that comes with a magnetic reed contact. Uh, so in the white box I have our, for this example, I have our high water sensor tail. I also have a small plastic baggie here that houses our um, internal battery for the wireless sensor and our mounting screws for the bracket on the back of the sensor. Now that we have everything out of the box here for our, our wireless high water sensor, um, we're going to go through the installation process. Uh, the pairing process is pretty straightforward through the Siren Marine app, but we're going to have to install the internal battery uh, to the sensor module first. So to do that, we're going to flip over the sensor module and remove the mounting bracket. You'll see four Phillips head screws that we want to take out and remove. Now that we have our four screws removed from the back of the device, we're going to remove the whole back plate there. We're going to take our internal battery that's included in the, in the box. We're going to insert the battery positive side up into the battery cradle here. From there, we're going to replace the wireless sensor back and screw in our screws. It's important that when we were screwing down these uh, screws, we want to make sure they're nice and snug to ensure the IP67 rating is still there uh, in place with the, the gasket that's around the outside of the device. Now that we've installed our internal battery to the wireless sensor module, the, first, the next thing we're going to do is pair it with the uh, MTC device. We're going to do this through the Siren Marine app. We have our QR code on the back of the device and our Siren Marine app here. Uh, open on our phone. We're going to go to the settings page. It says add wireless sensor and then you will see a QR camera pop up here and we're going to use this to scan the QR code on the back of the sensor. It takes place really quickly so you can see here it says successfully scanned your wireless sensor. We're going to press OK and fill in the rest of the customizable details. I'm going to call this high water one. From there, obviously, I'm going to select the sensor type. In this installation, it's high water. So even without the sensor tail attached, you have the ability to tell the sensor exactly what it is. We're going to go and press add. This may take a few seconds. Successfully added your wireless sensor. Now, if you go back to the home page here, you will see that our wireless high sensor has been added to the dashboard and we can tell that it's a wireless sensor because of the little wireless antenna icon shown there. So back to the rest of the sensor uh, assembly, we want to be sure to connect the wireless sensor tail directly to the sensor module. So we don't have to worry about the back of the device now that we've already scanned the QR code, but we want to secure the mounting bracket to the device as well as plug the sensor tail directly into the bottom of the wireless sensor module. We've also included two Allen screws that slide right in the base here. And we've also included the Allen key to tighten these guys down. Now just like that, we have our Siren Marine high water sensor ready to go to be mounted in the bilge, high water areas, whatever you, wherever you like to put this. And you can either mount the probe, either using the 3M tape on the back, or we do include the mounting screws available for the probe as well. So now you're all set to monitor high water with your brand new wireless sensor. To make it easy for you, our wireless sensor pairing process remains the same across all of our sensors. 
My name is Alex Pushkar with Siren Marine, and this has been another episode of Siren U.